A man found out his bride was cheating on him. On their wedding day, he taught her a lesson. Hello everyone, and welcome to The Storyist. Today, I will tell you a story about a man who found out that his bride-to-be was cheating on him. On their wedding day, he taught her a lesson she'd never forget. Watch the video until the end to find out what happened. Our story today begins with a young couple who was about to get married. The bride-to-be was very picky and demanding, so the young man who was to be her husband spent a lot more time and money preparing for the perfect wedding. There were a lot of details to attend to. First, there were the decorations. The bride was allergic to most types of flowers, so the young man had to work with the florist to make sure that they had only decorated the wedding venue with flowers that wouldn't trigger her allergies. It wouldn't do to have a sneezing bride with a runny nose. Then, there was the music. The young couple hired a local cover band to provide music for their ceremony. The band was known for being able to play all kinds of music, but the bride was very specific about what songs she wanted at their wedding. So the young couple sat down with the band and picked each and every song that they would play. And no matter what, the bride said, no loud rock music. I want everybody to be able to relax and dance if they want to, so no loud rock and roll. Eventually, they settled on a list of country and lounge classics for the band to perform. Then there was the matter of the food. Everyone always just gets barbecue, the bride said to her soon-to-be husband. That's boring. No barbecue. I want something that will impress our guests. So the young man found an upscale catering company and decided on a fancy menu of gourmet seafood and delicate appetizers. They also had to order a cake. The groom wanted chocolate, but the bride said, no way, this isn't a birthday cake, it's a wedding cake. We'll get something trendy, like almond cake with a champagne flavored filling. That sounded terrible to the groom, but he wanted to make his bride happy so he agreed and ordered the trendier cake instead. Finally, all the planning was over and it was time for the bachelor and bachelorette parties. The groom stayed in town to party with his friends, but the bride went away on a short trip to celebrate with her friends. She'd be gone for a few days and when she got back, it would be time for the wedding. The groom kissed his bride goodbye as she left and went to go get ready for his bachelor party. Just then, he heard a buzzing sound. His bride-to-be had left the phone behind and it had just received a text message. So he picked the phone up. He couldn't help but read the message that was displayed on the screen. And what he saw shocked him. The message said, Hey babe, hope you have a good trip. Can't wait to see you when you get here. The groom started to cry. His bride-to-be was cheating on him even now, just a few days before their wedding. She was on her way to see her secret boyfriend. With tears in his eyes, he scrolled through the phone and found more and more messages, proving that she had been cheating on him for a long time now. The groom's sadness quickly turned to anger. He thought about all the time he'd wasted dating this woman who didn't really love him. He thought about all the sacrifices that he had made over the years to make her happy. She had demanded a lot from him over time, but he always made it work because he believed that they were in love. But now he knew that it had all been for nothing. He felt like his life was ruined. So instead of calling off the wedding and breaking up with his bride-to-be, he started working on a plan to get his revenge. It was too late to get his money back for any of the wedding plans anyway, since it was less than a week away. He thought long and hard. It's too late to cancel and get my money back, he thought to himself. But maybe it's not too late to make some, hmm, changes to the plan. So the young man wiped away his tears and started making some phone calls. It was time to make a few alterations. His bride-to-be wanted a wedding that no one would ever forget. Well, he was gonna make sure that it happened just not the way that she was hoping for. When the bride returned from her trip, the groom pretended that he hadn't found anything out. It was difficult because he was so hurt, but he managed to act like nothing was the matter. 
Finally, the day of the wedding had arrived. Before it was time to get ready, the bride and groom saw each other one last time. Now remember, the groom said, today is your special day. There is a lot going on to make it wonderful. So if something goes a little wrong, please try and stay calm. I'd hate for you to be embarrassed in front of our guests. The bride agreed, and the two went their separate ways to get dressed. And almost immediately, things started to go wrong. When the bride was handed her bouquet of flowers, her eyes began to water and she sneezed. The flowers were the wrong kind. They were one of the kinds she was allergic to. But remembering her dignity, she did her best to smile and ignore the itching in her nose. Then, when the band started to play, they did so with loud, blaring electric guitars. They were playing rock and roll music, not country or lounge classics. She could barely hear herself think all over the noise. But she stayed calm and pretended that this was all part of the plan. Secretly, she was furious, but the soon-to-be bride forced a smile. She saw the caterers arrive and breathed a sigh of relief. Some fancy food would make her feel better about everything. But to her horror, she saw them wheel a giant barbecue pit out from the back of their catering van. The bride wanted to cry. Everything was going wrong. This was supposed to be her special day, but she knew she had to keep on pretending to be happy. It was time for the wedding ceremony. As the ceremony began, it took everything the bride had to maintain her composure. She walked down the aisle wearing a fake smile and barely listened to the preacher as he talked. She thought things were bad now. She had no idea how much worse it was about to become. The groom watched his bride in silence. Everything was going according to plan. He had called each and every one of the vendors involved in the wedding and changed everything at the last minute. He could tell that his bride was barely holding it together. Now it was time for the master stroke. It was time for the wedding vows. He stared at his bride as she read her vows. She was speaking words about love and faithfulness, but he knew it was all lies. So when she finished, and it was his turn, the groom didn't read wedding vows. Instead, he read some of the messages that his bride had sent to her secret boyfriend. Right there in front of all her friends and family, he revealed what a liar and a cheater she really was. And when he finished reading the messages, he looked her in the eyes and said, and now I'm going to leave you. I hope he was worth it. What am I supposed to do now? The bride screamed at him, no longer keeping calm. I don't care, he answered. You do whatever you want. I'm going to eat some cake. Then he walked over and cut a piece of the wedding cake, revealing a big, beautiful slice of chocolate cake, his favorite. He wasn't sure which tasted sweeter, the cake or his revenge. If you like this story, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe, and make sure you turn on the notification bell. We'll see you in the next story.